Russia is doing everything possible to make sure the Turkish plan, not, shall we say, the Indian plan, is implemented because it is the Federal Security Service of Russia or the FSB which will certainly control the corridor that will pass to Armenia. This means Russia will keep the keys in its hands in order to ensure communication between China and the Turkic world, which are both tremendous. Well, in this case, what hope is there for change in the scenario? India and the United States can bring hope for change. We saw that the Foreign Minister of India visited Armenia. The aim of the visit was to discuss this corridor, definitely. For India, Armenia does not have anything to bring to the table in terms of markets. Armenia has a poor market of 2.5 million, which is equivalent to the size of a district of a city in India. Geographically speaking, what matters is the 42-kilometer section on the border between Armenia and Iran, the section for which there is so much confrontation, as well as the 21-kilometer Goris Sisyan motorway. In other words, at the end of the day, territories matter in terms of their significance and in terms of the objectives that can be met through those territories, not in terms of the number of square kilometers. Now, from the global perspective, this section of Sunik province is very small, but it is significant in that it can help solve major geopolitical issues. There have been many talks about this, and now there is confrontation. If it becomes possible to create a road that will connect India to Iran, Armenia, Georgia and Europe, Armenia will find itself on that major road and will benefit from it, just like it found itself on and benefited from the Silk Road in the past. The India, Iran, Armenia, Georgia, Europe road will help solve security issues, as well as the issues of Armenia with respect to economic development.